Hi, I'm Kelsey, and this is a restorative practice to ease your anxiety and maybe get you ready for bed. It doesn't have to be done at bedtime, but what I'm really looking for here is to just slow you down and ease your anxiety. So your props for today, you will need a bolster or something similar, a blanket, and a wall space. And once you gather all those things, we'll get started. To get started, we're gonna start with a pranayama. Pranayama is just a breathing technique, and the pranayama we're gonna do is Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana should not be done if you have the flu or a cold, because we're messing with our nose, and if you need a tissue, sometimes that kind of releases stuff, so you might wanna grab that. So Nadi Shodhana helps balance the left side and the right side of our brains, because it's been said that um, every 88 minutes, one of our one side of each nostril is dominant so doing this it kind of helps trick the brain into balancing out our nostrils and in turn balances our brain and our nervous system which is what we're going for so you'll take the right hand and you're going to fold your index finger and your middle finger down you're going to bring it to your nose and you're going to do this action of um, thumb on the right nostril ring finger on the left okay so this is how it'll look. You'll take a big deep inhale without plugging anything yet. So big deep inhale. You're close the right nostril, exhale out the left. Inhale through the left. You'll pause at the top and while you're pausing, you're gonna switch so your ring finger will come to plug the left side and then you'll exhale. Inhale through the right. Pause and switch. So that's what it's going to look like, okay? Again, if you have a cold or a flu, please do not do this. Grab a tissue if you need to. We'll get started. We'll go through six rounds and it'll be each round is each side of the nostril, okay? So get ready. Again, thumb, ring finger up to the nose, okay? Big deep inhale. Exhale to plug. I'm sorry. Hold to plug, exhale at the left. Inhale through the left. Hold, plug left, Lip release right, exhale. Inhale right. Plug right, exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Keep going at your own pace. Closing the eyes if you need to. Remembering, exhale and inhale through one nostril. Exhale, inhale through the other nostril. Last round. Release your hand and just pause to take notice here. Do you feel more calm, relaxed? One last breath here. Exhale, side out the mouth. Open your eyes. And we're next, we're gonna move into some neck stretches. So bring your right um, ear to your right shoulder. And if you want, you can take your right hand and crawl it out a little further. I'm sorry, your left hand. Breathe into the side of your neck. One 
more breath here. Exhale to roll your neck down and just come to the other side. Stretching that right arm out long if you need to, if you want. One more breath. Exhale to roll your neck down through the middle and back to the other side. Take one breath here. Exhale, come to the other side. One breath here. Exhale, down to the middle and just look up. So my version of restorative is we stay as low to the ground as possible. Okay, there's no standing up because when I relax, I like to relax. So you're gonna take your blanket for this first posture. And you're gonna roll it up. And the thickness varies for your comfort, okay? So you can leave a little bit out. And then you're gonna come onto your back and the blanket roll is gonna come around to where a bra strap would be. So just imagine if you are not a person who wears a bra, where that would be. It'd be a wrap right here in the upper back, mid to upper back. Okay, I'm gonna come to lay down on it. And your arms are gonna come out to a T or you can do cactus arms. And find something that's comfortable to where you can completely relax. That's what restorative is all about. Fully surrendering so you can relax. I'll cue you whenever our time is up for this posture with an inhale. Okay, go ahead and relax. Quiet in your mind if you can. Notice if your mind is starting to wander. We're about halfway through this posture. See if you can bring it back in.
Take a big deep inhale breath here. Completely exhale. Bend your knees and plant your feet. Roll onto your uh, right side and move the prop. And just stay here for a second just to kind of recalibrate. One more breath here. Exhale. Using your hands, go ahead and make your way up to a seated position. Next, you're going to take your bolster or your pillows, and we're coming into um, a supported child's pose. Some I know that some people are, have a hard time with supported child's pose. So if you have tight ankles or feet, you can have a blanket underneath your feet here like this if you have tight hips and this does not work for you you could come to a seated position and have something propping up to your head like this otherwise we're coming into a supported child's pose with with your pillows or bolster and if you have blocks at home you can use those to prop it up or what you're going to do is just slide it into between your legs and then you just walk out and lay down and I'll cue you halfway to change the position of your head to turn your head the other way go ahead and close your eyes let the prop support you
Go ahead and take one more breath here. Release. Using your hands when you're ready. Start to walk your way up to a seated position. Just come to sit back onto your bottom. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Kind of just shake them out for a second. Okay, so our next pose is gonna be, um, it's called belly down over your bolster. So you're gonna come up. I like to stagger my legs and um, deer pose like this, but if this doesn't work for you, you can just stack your legs on top of one another. You're gonna slide your prop into your hip to where it's parallel with your hip. And then you're going to turn over and just walk yourself down onto your pillow, okay? And at first, if you want to stay this way, you can, or Sometimes about halfway, I feel like I want a little bit more, so I'll turn my cheek. That just gives you a little bit more of a twist. So go ahead and come down. Find a point of where you can relax. Close your eyes. Take a big deep inhale, fully exhale. Using your hands, go ahead and make your way to a seated position and then we'll just come onto the opposite side. I'm gonna move my bolster this way. So my back's not towards you. Again, you're gonna slide your prop up to your hip. Feet can be however you want. Take a deep inhale to extend and then exhale to fold over.
go ahead and take one more breath here. And as you're ready, walk yourself up to a seated position. And go ahead and remove your bolster out of the way. You don't need it for the rest of the class, but this is where you're gonna need your wall. We're coming into legs up the wall. So this is how I found the easiest way to do this. So you're going to scooch up to the wall, okay, with your hip against it. Come down onto your elbow and swing your legs up. And then from here, I have to scoot my bum back and just wiggle myself up to the wall. You do not have to be up against the wall. You can be a little ways out. Just have your heels resting on it. Just find a space that's comfortable for you here. Just see if you can relax here. Don't let anything in your legs grip. Just let them fully relax and rest on the wall.
go ahead and take one more inhale. Complete exhale. Whenever you're ready to come out, you start to bend your knees up against the wall, kind of into your chest, and roll over onto your right side. Just pause here for a second. As you're ready, come up. We're making our way into Shavasana now, so if there's any other postures you want to go ahead and take, go ahead and do it. A few ways you can take Shavasana. You can take your bolster or your pillows and prop them up underneath your knees. Sometimes that's nice. You can use the pillow underneath your head, blanket as a cover or a pillow. You do you. So go ahead, find your Shavasana. Close your eyes, start to relax. Scan your toes, and your feet, and your ankles. See if you can let them relax just a little more. Move up to your calves, your knees, your thighs. Is there anywhere you are gripping or holding on? Moving up to your hips, your stomach. Let everything be loose and soft. Your fingers, your hands, your arms, your shoulders, you can roll them onto your back if you need to. Your throat, your jaw. Unhinging it if you need to. Let the mouth slacken. And moving on to your third eye, your eyebrow space. Are you furrowing? Just let it smooth out. Letting your body get really heavy as if you were sinking into warm sand. Take Shavasana. I encourage you to stay here for as long as you can, whether that be three more minutes or 10 more minutes. Namaste.